So welcome back, this is the final three. Uh, this is a November 2018 paper one, the non-calculator paper. Uh, some quite difficult questions in this particular paper. I've uh, done some of them already, so um, I want to go through them with you. Um, so I'll show you this one uh, real quick. This is question 20. If you want to see the paper this comes from, do look at the description below. And if you want to leave comments, there is the comment section below. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, please do leave a like and a subscribe, and that would be really helpful to me. Thank you. Right, um, this is question 20 then, and this is an unrationalized surge. You can see here, um, it's an unrationalized surge underneath the root eight minus two, and then the root eight plus two squared. We can look at the numerator first. That's the key thing here to look at the numerator first. So I'm doing that um, over here. So I've done uh, root 18 plus root two, and then root 18 plus root two, you can see um, I'm multiplying that all out. So root 18 times root 18 is 18. Uh, root 2 times eight, root 18 is, is root 2, eight, root 2, 18. And then again, the root 2, root 18. And then root 2 times root 2 is 2. A uh, common error is to write 4, because people see the 2 times 2 and think 4. But it's not, of course. It's root 2 times root 2. So it's 2. And then uh, over at the side, you can see I've written root 18. That's 9 uh, times 2. So that's going to be 3 root 2. So 3 root 2. So if you have 3 root 2, and then times another root two. So these two root twos will make two. And then you've got the three there. So two threes are six. So this is a six and that's a six. And so you've got 18 plus six plus six plus two. And that's how you get your 32. So 18 plus six plus six plus two. That's how you get your 32. Now, a little bit lower down, you can see me starting to work on the uh, the denominator now. So to rationalize the denominator, you would multiply by uh, root eight and it'd be plus two. So it's the opposite of this. So that's minus two. So you put plus two. You'd have plus two on top and bottom. And then I'm uh, looking at the bottom here. So root these two things multiplied, root eight minus two and then root eight plus two. And again, first two terms multiplied make eight. Then you've got the two middle terms that cancel each other out. So that's the, that's the denominator getting rationalized. And then you have minus two times two, that's minus four. On the top, we can multiply out 32 times root eight and 32 times two, that gets you the 64. Underneath, we agreed that was gonna be eight minus four, because from up here, so eight minus four. And then 32 root eight plus 64 over, over four then is what we end up with. So if you divide through, you'll get 32 divided by four is eight, and then uh, 64 divided by four is 16. The root eight part, you can see me doing that up here. So that's root four times two, that's two root two, which you should know. Um, so this is two root two times eight, so that's 16 root two, add 16. And then if you just write it the other way around, so the 16 plus 16 root two first, and then take out what's common, you get 16 lots of one plus root two, which matches the format in the question, uh, which is something and then uh, the root who's last in the brackets, and then that should get you um, your three marks. That's quite a lot of work for, for three marks, um, but um, yeah, doable and uh, revisable. So rationalize and denominators. This particular one also I've had a go out already, you can see. Um, so I'm gonna go through it from scratch this time to show you again. Um, so it's quite a complex problem involving vectors, this one. Um, it really is a, a question of writing down as much as you possibly can write down and then you will get the answer out um, if you see, if you just look logically at what's going on. So um, there's some things I've already filled in that come from the question. So the fact they say OA is, is A, I've filled that in. The fact they say OB is B, I've filled that in. And I've also filled in the, the three to two ratio here, three fifths and two fifths. Now. Uh, we need to ratio ON to NB, so this to here and this to there. Um, so we need to think about, uh, firstly, how I go from O to N. That's the vector I really want, the O to N. So this is the strategy, how it unfolds. You start off with O to N, you think, how do I get from O to N? Well, you'd go from O to A and, then, and from A to N. So now I need A to N. I can't get A to N just yet. Maybe I could get A to P. If I get A to P, I can then find A to N. How do I find A to P? Well, A to P is just OA plus uh, A to P, or you could just do um, O to P. Uh, that would be useful maybe to find as well, because you could get your A to P by going minus A back to O and an O to P. 
So then I need O to M, okay? Because if I can't, I can't get O to P unless I get O to M. And how do I get O to M? Well, I need to go up to A and then down to M. Okay, so now I need A to B because I need that A to B rate vector so I can go from A to M. And so once we know we need A to B, that's the vector you start with. As I mentioned earlier, you might just want to start by writing down things. This particular question is worth five marks. So you just write down as much as you can do. Again, for a nine or an eight, you don't need 100%. You need a fair percentage of these last few questions. So if you write down stuff that you know, you will largely get it right. A to B, first of all, is from here to here and from here to here. So minus A plus B or B minus A. Again, that's probably going to get you a mark or two. Just to, just to see, uh, just to get started, that's probably worth a mark. That means that A to M will be half of this, so half of B minus A, because A was the M was the midpoint, so that's worth knowing. Let's work through my O to M. So my O to M will be this, the A, and then plus that, so plus half B minus A. And again, if you multiply the brackets carefully, you'll get half A plus half B, Okay, so again, this is going to be, if you take out what's common, half of A plus B. We'll need that later on. That's O to M. Now, O to P, so that's also useful. So O to P is three-fifths of this, so three-fifths of that, so three-fifths of a half A plus B. That's going to be three-tenths of A plus B. Okay, so three-tenths of A plus B. That's the O to P bits. So we're nearly there. And then we need um, we need the A to P now. So A to P will be minus A plus this. So three tenths of A plus B. And be very careful about your signs because uh, we have to be careful about the signs here. So minus A plus three tenths A is minus seven tenths A and then three tenths of B. That's what you get. So that's A to P. Now, <clears throat> that's as many vectors as you can write down um, in one set. Remember, we need to get A to N. So I can do O to N. I need A to N. So now I need A to N. Now, A to N is where it gets a little bit more tricky. A to N is going to be some multiple of this. I don't know what. So I'm going to give that a letter. Let's just say it's lambda. It's some multiple of this vector. Uh, seven, minus 7 tenths A plus 3 tenths B. Okay, so some multiple. We don't know how much. So lambda is just some random number. O N, the vector O N, then, will be A, and then plus this. So plus the lambda lots of minus 7 tenths A plus 3 tenths B. Now that is as much as I think you can do without starting to think a bit more complex. So at this stage, you probably got, say, three marks, maybe even four marks, but probably two or three marks already of the question. So this is a sizable chunk of the question you've already got. When you get to here, you need to start thinking about what ON actually is. ON will be some multiple of B. There is no A involved because we know that the vector all the way through there is B. So the A component in ON has to be zero it's a logical conclusion for the fact this has to be some multiple of B. So the A component here has to be zero. In other words, if you look at my, uh, my vector parts here, the one, this bit, uh, and then minus seven tenths lambda, when you multiply the brackets, that has to be zero because the A component has to be zero. If you then find lambda, so we're gonna find lambda, so one equals seven tenths lambda, and that means that lambda, is 10 sevenths. That means that ON will be, because uh, the A parts will cancel out, if I look at lambda being 10 sevenths, 10 sevenths times B will be uh, 3 over 7. So ON, my vector ON is 3 sevenths B. The A parts have cancelled out, so we're ending up with, as I said, a multiple of B. So ON is 3 sevenths B. Now if it's 3 sevenths B, this is 3 sevenths, this must be 4 sevenths because the two things have to add to 1. 
So the ratio ON to MB must be three to four, and that will get you uh, the five marks. It's a really quite tricky question, but if you write down some basic stuff, the basic vectors that you can get from the question, you will get an awful lot of credit. So it's one of those ones that I think is, although it's very testing, and although it's very difficult, it really does require you just to think through all the things that you can write down. The last question, 22, is a probability question. So this is talking about green pens and blue pens and all sorts of stuff. But it very quickly turns into an algebra question. So it starts off with the idea that there are three more blue pens than green pens in the box. So let's start off by saying that the number of green pens, let's let that be x. And the number of blue pens must be, well, three more, x plus three. That means the total number of pens in the box must be these two things added up, so 2x plus 3. So those things are things you can write down relatively quickly from the description here. Now, um, he's going to take at random two pens from the box. It's a limited amount of choices. It's talking about probability. So you should be starting to think about tree diagrams relatively quickly. There are two possibilities at the start, the fact that he takes a green or the fact that he takes a blue. And again, the second pen, that he takes the green or that he takes the blue. And again, that he takes a green or that he takes a blue. Now, because he's not putting them back, the chance that he takes a green first time out will be x over 2x plus 3, and the chance that he gets the blue will be x plus 3 over 2x plus 3, so the number of blues over the total. Once he takes a green, there'll be one less in the box, so the probabilities will change. So you're going to have x minus 1 on the top, and then 2x plus 2 on the top. And then the blue will be x plus 3 over 2x plus 2. And then again, uh, here, taking the green will be x over 2x plus 2. And then because he's got a blue that's gone, that's going to be x plus 2, so one less than that one. And then over 2x plus 2. Okay, so you have to think about all of those things really quickly. Um, now, the number of, number of things you can do here, but then it's asking you to think about um, the probability that someone will take two pens of the same color. So two pens of the same color. So you've got to think about um, how you create uh, two pens of the same color. That's either green and green or blue and blue. So green and green, or blue and blue. So green and green, first of all, will be x lots of x minus 1. So this is x over 2x plus 3, and x minus 1 to x plus 2. So that's the green and green. Or could be blue and blue. So x plus 3 over 2x plus 3, and then multiplied by x plus 2 over 2x plus 2. Okay, so that's green and green, blue and blue. You would want to be multiplying out the bottom parts, the top parts. It can get quite complicated quite quickly, but we're going to do take our time and hopefully get this, get this right. So we get x squared minus x here on the top. And then these two things on the bottom multiplied, I'll leave them separately for now. Because I can see I'm going to get a common denominator eventually. So these two things multiplied will be x squared plus 5x plus 6. And again, 2x plus 3, 2x uh, plus 2 on the bottom. So you can see the common denominator. We're going to gather together the tops and put it over the same denominator. So x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. Uh, minus x plus 5x is plus 4x. And then you've got the plus 6 here. And then all over this, 2x plus 3, 2x plus 2. And we're told in the question this is 27 over 55, okay, from up there. Okay, so this whole thing is 27 over 55. At this point, we're going to cross multiply. So there's quite a lot of maths here, but we're going to take it real slow. We'll be, we'll be okay. So we have uh, 110 x squared plus 220 x 
and then 330, 55 times 6. Um, here, it'd be good to multiply out the brackets now, so I'm going to scribble that over here. So I'm going to multiply out these brackets, so I have 4x squared plus 6x plus 4x and then plus 6. So I'm getting 4x squared plus 10x plus 6 here when I multiply out those. So I'm going to multiply that all by 27 now. So it's uh, 27 times 4, that's 108. Uh, 27 times 10, that's 270. And 27 times 6, that's 162. Okay. It's without a calculus this question. You can work all these out if you want to, but uh, I know most of these. So 110 take away 108 will be 2x squared. 220x take away 270x will be uh, minus 50x. And then 330 take away 162. I'll just work that out because I'm not sure about that. So let's just work that out. And it's going to be... 168 okay so 168 and then I can see that 2 is a multiple in all of these so I'm going to divide by 2 make it a little bit easier for myself tough question this and then now we need to factorize this we won't really use the formula because no calculator in this particular paper so we need to factorize this so I need to see uh, what factors of 84 multi uh, um, add up to give you 25? So we'd have to think about that really carefully. So um, I think 21 and 4 probably works. Yes, it does. So minus 21 and minus 4. So x minus 21 and x minus 4 equals to 0. And we're told in the question, just a reminder, we're told it has to be more than 12 pens. So the answer x equals 4 is irrelevant, um, but this one's irrelevant. It's got to be 21 pens. So the number of pens, green pens, in the, in the box is 21. Six marks for that question. Really quite tough, um, but um, again, quite a lot of it doable. Okay, that's the end of November 2018, paper one. Stay tuned, I'll do paper two and paper three today, so you'll have those up on the channel. And I'll be adding content to the channel in the next few weeks to do keep uh, looking back. And if you'd like to suggest some things going forward, please do uh, leave a comment in the comments section below. I wish you all the best for your exams in the summer. Good luck. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.